What's up, everybody? Welcome back to some more Yakuza 4. My name is Raven from the Sky. Let's do this. This really Kamarucho? Ouch. Out of the way, old timer. What happened to this place? Kamarucho's gone down the crap of these last 25 years. Well, time to crack down the boss. Time to track down the boss. Guess I'll start with the old Sasai family headquarters. Out in front of West Park. If that's even still the headquarters. Wait for somebody to go, hey, oi! <laughs> I'm out of money, so you get, you're just gonna have to give me yours. And then a fight breaks out. <clears throat> I, just, I think the goons in this game is funny. Fails. Oh, you're there. Stop right there. <laughs> this was my family's turf. Ain't no sign of him now. Suppose I'll try asking folks around here. Start with this guy here. Got a sec. The Sasai family used to have an office around these parts. Know anything about that? Well, I remember some Yakuza types used to hang out here. But that was, what, 20, 30 years ago? Yeah, those guys. Any idea where their boss went? Sorry, can't say I do. Toku-san might, though. Who's Toku, and where do I find him? Another homeless guy like me. He's been... Busking around town for decades, spends his days down in the underground mall. The heck is that? It's a bunch of stores they set up on the Shawa Street, built just a while back. The whole thing's one big fancy shopping center beneath the streets, hence the name. All right then, guess I'll go see if your pal Toku's still hanging around in this underground mall. He should be, and I'm sure he'll be able to tell you what you want to know. I know where that's at. Cab. Toku? Hmm? Yeah, that's me, and who are you? Name's Sejima. I'm looking for anyone who knew Kamarocho back in the day, around 25 years ago. Someone said you might. I hear you've been living in these parts a long time. Oh. That I have, over 30 years, maybe more. Guess I lost count. Yeah? Ever heard of the Sasai family? Hmm, the name does ring a bell. They had an office by West Park till at least 25 years ago. Oh, right. It's starting to come back to me. Well, what can you tell me about him? It's kind of fuzzy. Some alcohol might jog my memory. Alky what? Booze. Hooch. Alcohol. I live off the stuff, but it's been days since I could afford a drink. I just can't think straight when I'm sober. Maybe I ought to go grab some booze. What should I give? Oh, you don't have any alcohol on you? Shame. Stiff drink will clear these cobwebs. 
Is there a store down here that may have one, have some? I don't think you can buy anything from here. It's the bar E. Oh, it's for us. We. Oh, boy. I need something we can buy. So we can buy it from. That's what I need. Some alcohol, as he likes to call it. I don't think there's none in this store. Popo. But now it feels like there's one in every corner. Let's see. Let's see what we see. Sake. T. Black Boss. See if he'll take some sake. If not, we'll be going up to another store. I hope we do. I mean, it's right. Let's hear about the Sasai family. Oh, thanks. Hold on, a, hold on a second while I fuel up. Welcome back, my old friend. No, not you, the booze. Ah, that's the good stuff. Warms the body and soul. I'm happy for you. You remember anything yet? Oh, oh right, the Sasai family. Sorry to break this to you, but they're long gone. So it's true. What, about the boss? Where's Sasa san I'm afraid I don't know what became of their patriarch. Ah, don't let it get you down. Besides, Yakuza don't exactly advertise their comings and goings. He might very well still be around. Sorry I wasn't much help. Wait, I know. Why not go back to where it all began? That always helps me find things. Might as well start with my old apartment. Not like I got any other leads to work with. Oh, 
Huh? Memory spring. What the, what the heck am I gonna do with that? that cab. なんかさよく勘違いされんだよね俺俺さいわゆるチンピラ風の見た目じゃないだからいっつも舐められるわけでもさ俺一応あの新井の兄貴の射程やってんだよ弱かったら務まんねえっつの<笑>俺なんか簡単に生け取れると思ったあめ<笑>んだよあんたら本家柴田組もさそんなんじゃいつまでたっても荒井の兄貴は捕まえらんないぜ<笑>おいおいおいおいおいおいおいおいおいおい These goons you just wasted, they all Shibatas?、Uh. Maybe. Was it to you? You in the business? The Yakuza? Uh, yeah. What family? Or,、uh, I'm with the Tojo, the、uh, Shibata family, actually. Why were you just pounding on your own boys? Um, it's kind of complicated. They jump you for dropping out? Yeah. No, not exactly. Well, you're obviously no friend of Shibatas. This is just the man I need. Wait, need me for what? You're gonna help me find my boss, Sase san. Oh. Uh. Oh. Oh, here we go. Sorry, man, but I got my own ish to take care of. Fudge. I've turned all the, all the way around the wrong way. Who even are you? Just a guy looking for answers. Come on, kid. I need your help. Fine, whatever, just let me catch my breath. Darn, 
That's some heavy-ish. You're telling me, I mean, my own clan's after me now. How about Arai? No sign of him yet? Uh. Nope. Hard to find him with those Shibata thugs on my butt. And Akiyama-san can't help on this one. It's a gosh darn nightmare, man. Akiyama, the money lender, you okay? Yeah, he'll be fine. The police have Sky Finance on a 24-hour watch. Shibata can't risk messing with him for now. The fuzz. Ish. Hmm? You okay, man? You look like you're gonna puke. I'm fine. Anyway, good thing is the cops are watching them. So wait, what the heck this Sasai family you keep talking about? A family run by Hideki Sansai. We're a third-tier group that's part of the Tojo, at least we were 25 years ago. No ish, just like Kanemura Enterprises. Back then, the Sasai and Shibata families were rivals despite both being Tojo. Huh? Huh? Our parent family? Sasai-san and Shibata were both looking to climb the ladder. A good old power struggle between rival families, huh? I was ready to do whatever it took, anything to get my patriarch to the top spot in the clan. So I agreed to the hit. Hit? Murder. I took out Yo Yoshiharu Yuino and the other Yuino Siwa brass who were jockeying with the Tojo. Gunned them down in a ramen joint. The Yuino Siwa, wait, you mean that hit? You heard of it? Yeah, that was me. Hold on just a second, Pops. That's the shooting where the one dude took out like 18 people, isn't it? You're a living legend. Ain't nothing legendary about pointing a gun and pulling the trigger. All I cared about was making sure my patriarch rose through the ranks, even if I hung for it. Surprising thing was, my time never came, at least not yet. Wait, if you got... If you're a... That means you... Busted out, yep, just the other day. What the fudge? Pipe down, kid. Relax. I just want to know the truth. See it with my own two eyes before I bite the dust. The truth about what? Whether my boss really just up and vanish. Huh? And whether my bro Majima really did stab me in the back. So what do you say? Think you can help? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hold the phone, man. What? This is way out of my freaking league. I mean, you're the legendary Tiger Saijima. There's no way I can help you. Come on, man. I'm a nobody, practically still a street punk. Heck, I've even got my own family on my butt. And you're asking me to help you? That's crazy talk. I ain't expecting much, huh? Just need an introduction. To who? Someone who knows what went down in Kamurocho back in 85. Someone who knows the truth. Right. You said you were looking for the real story. Mm, any ideas? Ah, I what? There's a guy who can help. He'll definitely have the info you're looking for. Who? An information broker. Best of the best. An informant, huh? Let's get out of here before the cops come by and start asking questions. And who knows when those Shibata a-holes will show up again. Yeah. Follow me. It's a place I go to when I need to lay low. You got a hideout? Yeah, come on. Come on, this way. It's right down this hallway, almost there. It's just on the escalator. story but let's just say the last tenants here moved out in a hurry so I've helped myself to the space a lot of homeless folks around this is kind of their turf we're the squatters down here hide out here you can save your okay we know oh 
Oh yeah, let me tell you what I know about the informant. I'm all ears. They say he keeps tabs on everything that happens in Kamarocho, past and present. I don't know who the guy is or how he knows what he knows. But word on the street is, there's not much he doesn't. Wonder how much of it's just rumor. I'm just telling you what I've overheard. Apparently he pays homeless people to gather his intel. You might have the best luck asking them about him. Oh, I almost forgot. Forgot what? The streets are practically crawling with cops today. Better watch yourself out there. All right. Kitty kitty, we got some fish for you. Want some beer? Huh? Darn things just don't want warm up to me. Oh, you guys aren't seeing cats. Cat's eye to cat's eye with them. Watch and learn. Yeah, I didn't think so. That's odd. Mo Cat Miko would always come right at me when I did that. They don't, won't let us touch them. We can't check their injuries and we can't fix them up. Hmm. Huh? What are you looking at? Hey, take it easy, fella. Say, pal. Are you a cat lover? Cats, huh? You are, that's great. Can you do something about these cats? Whoa there, I didn't say I was a cat lover. Ah, that's okay. Anyway, we just found these little guys, but unfortunately they're not letting any of us touch them. Yeah, but... They look like they're hurt. We only want to patch them up if we can. It must be fate you showing up like this. Could you try tame, the, try tame these little fellas? Yeah, please. If we don't act fast, they'll get weaker and weaker, and you're our only hope in theirs. You want me to tame a bunch of cats, huh? Why the heck not? All right, why the heck not? Guess I'll see what I can do. Great, we're counting on you. The little fella's really giving me what for. Now what do I do? Seems like it finally dropped his guard. Wow, you're good. Poor things wouldn't even give me the time of day. They don't look like they're doing too good. We gotta get some nutrition onto these little guys. Bah, I drink a patch them right up. I hate to ask, but could you buy these kittens something you think they'd like? Suppose I can't back out now. I'll get them something real nutritious like fudge. I don't know. up some milk. Hmm? Homeless guy. Maybe I could ask him about the info dealer. Excuse me. I was wondering if I could ask you something. Oh, yeah. You! Come over here. What happened? We'll talk later. Just follow me. Hold your horses, old man. Where the heck are you headed in such a hurry? It's the master. He's going to die if we don't do something. The master? Yeah. He's a famous old man around these parts. Been digging a hole down in the sewers for ages now. But enough chit chat, we gotta hurry. A manhole? You sure about this? It's the fastest way, just follow me. Easier said than done, old man. How am I supposed to get through a manhole? I got a special tool for opening manhole covers. But you're bigger than a buffalo, so you probably don't even need it. Anyways, we ought to hurry. Come on.
Over there. Enough bull, old man. It's time you told us the truth. We don't like to get rough with frail geezers. So do us a favor and start talking. I can't let you go any further. All these years of hard work would have been for nothing. We know you're hiding tons of buried treasure back there. That's why you've been digging like this since the Stone Age. There ain't no buried treasure. Now get the heck out of here. It's no fair if you hog all that money t to yourself. Share the loot, why don't you, Grandpa? Uh -huh. Come on. This is taking too long. If you're not going to move, then we'll just have to move you. Oh, no. They're going to kill the master. You look like a pretty strong guy. Please get rid of those hooligans and save the master. I'll talk to him. Really? Thank you, kind sir. Listen, Gramps. Uh, I skipped it. Kids having fun picking on senior citizens? Ain't you supposed to care for the elderly? Who the fudge are you, huh? One of this guy's homeless friends? Don't matter. Just let this whole thing go and get lost. So you're after the loot, too? You think we don't know what's up? Give me a break already. Kids these days don't know when to listen. Enough talk. We're going to float both your... What is it? Geriatric corpses down the fudge and sewer. Who the heck is this guy? Some sort of monster or something? Darn it, this ain't the last you heard of us, old man. Street punks and their cowardly lines never change. Save my life, thank you. Thank this guy, not me. He's the one that was doing all the worrying. Master, you okay? Did they hurt you? Oh, it's you. Yeah, I'm all right. Thank goodness, I was scared out of my mind. I owe you, sir. You really are something. By the way, what's your name again? Sajima, you? People call me Kinchan, and this here's the master. I didn't come up with that nickname, but call me whatever you want. So why were them punks after you anyway? Been down here looking for a certain something, something important. But then those hoodlums showed up, spouting nonsense about buried treasure and the like. Something important? Yep. Yeah, ain't even sure what it is exactly. My father only told me about this on his deathbed. Said he buried something important beneath the streets of Camarucho. I see. Told me the general location, but we got more sewers and, and, and newfangled underground malls cropping up every day. Makes things harder to find. So you mean he buried whatever it is before all this was built? Exactly. I reckon during the war. Wow. That's a long time ago. So how many years you been digging? Well, I uh, heard from my father about it when I was 50, so I reckon maybe 25 years, give or take a few. 25 years, master. This guy's pretty strong. How about asking him to help you dig? And why would I do that? You've been saying your back hurts, right? And you're not getting any younger. Oh, shut your trap. I still got it in me. You don't have to be so hard-headed, Sajima son. Will you help the... Master Dig, please. You've really been digging this hole for 25 years? Pretty much. I see. Well, I'll help whenever I got the time. Seriously, kid? You ain't even involved. Might be, might not be anything in it for you either. Consider it karma. Plus, I haven't had a good workout since coming to Karma Rucho. Don't worry about it. Perfect. Just might find what you're looking for before you pass on, Master. You quit talking about me dying already? Jeez. Sajima, was it? I may talk a lot, but I can't stop the years from piling on. Honestly, this old man would be really happy if you lent the hand, even if it's only for a while, a little. Got it. I'll come by and help when I can. Thank you. I mean, you're dead. Ain't much of a reward, I guess, but do you know about revelations? Revelations, yep. Revelations allow you to learn new techniques by observing various events around town. Might just be able to discover something new if you capture those decisive moments in material form. 
But I don't have a camera. Never been much good with machines anyway. Same here. Couldn't afford it either. That's why I use these babies. A hammer and a chisel? I'll give you some good old carving wood, too. Use that there hammer and chisel to carve the events you see. Ask Ken Chan about what's going on above ground. He may have some good information. I think I get it. I'll give it a try. Well, looks like I've settled things here. Time to investigate that legendary info dealer. Wonder if any of the homeless might know something. Hey, so Jimmy-san, I know why you're here. Want to know about revelations, right? Yeah. Not often we see guys like you down here. Like Let me guess. You're concerned about the slow deterioration of our natural environment. So you've come to me, an expert on all things grassy and green. Uh, actually, I... Relax, big guy. I won't bite. But I will drop a big old knowledge bomb on you. You know how much trash is collected in Camarocho in a year? 22 tons. 22,000 tons. 60 tons every single day. That's as much as two humpback whales. Every day. And that doesn't include the litter-strewn around town that nobody bothers to pick up, which, trust me, is a lot. So, I've devoted my life to making this city as clean as possible. Yes, and, hmm, does any of this have to do with me? Oh, right. Around here, they call me the mean green machine. No matter how high the trash stacks, I'll always be there to whisk it away. Speaking of, trash has something of a special value down here in the underground. What do you mean, value? You hear me, down here, trash makes the whole world go around. Get your cash, bring in some trash. I praise whatever bits of trash you give me and give you the appropriate number of points. Points are like our money and mine to you. Throw points. With the points, you can buy all sorts of stuff, items, food, equipment. Though, of course, this only applies to the shops we run. Okay, so... Forest. That's his name. That's what his clients call him anyway. It's because the info he sells gets delivered inside flower bouquets. Sounds real romantic, so how's the guy meet this florist? Thing is, no one really knows. But with all the crazy stuff that's happened around here over the past few years, it seems like every time a major crisis hits the city, he uproots his headquarters and relocates. Any idea where he planned himself now? Don't know for sure. But there's a rumor going around. <clears throat> I'm listening. I heard you can get to his hideout through the back of the public restroom at West Park. You mean the joint at the north end of town? The John at the north end of town? That's the one. I'd start at West Park if I were you. All right, thanks. The guy's like, what? What are you? Oh, what That was the florist of Psy. Hey, what'd you say about the florist? Huh? What? Nothing. Nothing at all. I know what I heard. Don't lie to me. 
please cut me some slack around here. A slip of the tongue could cost a guy, well, his tongue or his life. Relax. I ain't no snitch. Well then, uh, if I let you in on my secret, do you promise not to tell anyone? I promise. I promise I won't tell a soul. Okay, I guess I'll trust you. Keeping it a secret is killing me anyway. I'm on a city crew that was doing some work on the manhole over in Children's Park. That's when I found it. Found what? A subterranean pleasure district. But they only let in the super rich, and even then just select few elites. I thought it was all an urban legend, but it's real. How you find it? Well, uh, I was sneaking a nap down in the manhole when I heard someone come in. Who? I think it was the big cheese himself, the florist of side. He's the info broker who calls the shots down there. He was wearing some real flashy clothes, the kind you see on magazines in the waiting room at the dentist's office. And he kept going down the tunnel until he disappeared. When I took a look later, I found a door at the end. Where's it go? Don't know. I didn't open it. The hell? Why not? It was a really heavy door. I couldn't get it to budge. I bet there's some trick to it. Only the florist knows. The rumors about the florist are true. I'd rather keep my nose on, on my face and poke it where it doesn't belong. Then again, that stuff's all hearsay and tabloid gossip. No idea where the legend ends and the truth begins. All I know is I saw it with my own eyes. Just remember, you promised to keep this a secret. Don't worry, I ain't telling no one. Assuming this guy ain't feeding me big caca ish I ought to check out the manhole in Children's Park. down that manhole. You're in my way. Yo, this is our turf. We don't have to do this. We don't have to do ish for you. <laughs> I get it. I bet Pops here lives down there. <laughs> a, a sewer rat? That's freaking hilarious. Well, we'll let you through. Well, you'll have to pay the toll to get to this hole. And if I don't, Then we'll beat you into a bloody pulp. So I suggest you just pay up, Pops. What a joke. That's fudging, excuse me. You just screwed with the wrong crew. Shut your trap and let's go. I want to see you try and beat me into a bloody pulp. You asked for it, old man. Sorry, no more, please. Yeah, we don't want any more trouble. Just shut up and step aside. And I don't want to see you around Kamarucho no more. Yes, sir. We're out of here. Sergeant, Sergeant, oh yeah, yeah, we know. Focus on it. Leave the treasure. When you become the treasure, you can hear it talking to you, whispering sweet nothings that only another treasure can hear. Once you enter this mode... Mm -hmm. Okay.
the heck is with this place? Ah, there you are. Who in the gosh darn? Ooh. I've been waiting for you, Taiga Saijima. While you've been looking for me, I've had my eye on you. So there's something you wanted to ask me? Yeah. Folks call you some kind of info broker? Uh. That they do. I'm a dealer, and the drug I sell is Intel. Information on everything that goes down in Kamurocho eventually reaches my ears, one way or another. I have a network of informers at my fingertips and surveillance cameras mounted all over town. I've got eyes in every nook and cranny. Time for some answers. So what's the deal with this purgatory joint? You know that entertainment area you saw as you came in? Kinda hard to miss. Well, I built it myself years ago. What you see, I created. Kamurocho's rich and famous come here from all quarters for a taste of the pleasures they can't get above ground. We cater to every taste, no matter how decadent, gambling, sex, things of that nature. Normally, potential clients are carefully screened before I let them in, though I've made an exception in your case. But these pleasures are going to cost you. Just be careful. The place doesn't suck you in. Don't forget, you're a man on a mission. You're being, you being here means there's something you want to know, something only I can find out for you. Yeah. I'm looking for Hideki Sasai, patriarch of the Sasai family, or at least he was he was back in 85. Know where he's at? Uh. I do, but my intel doesn't come cheap. Name your price. Let's say 10 million yen. That a joke? I ain't holding that kind of cash. But you already knew that, didn't you? Of course. I wouldn't be much of an info dealer if I didn't. But you do have another option. There's something you can do for me instead. Yeah, let's hear it. <laughs> <laughs> Follow me. What kind of place is this? The underground coliseum. Only VIP members are allowed to spectate the fights here. I'm guessing you're not inviting me to watch. Exactly. I want you to enter the exhibition death match, I'm hoping. Death match? Heh, <laughs> that's right. A bona fide death match. Not like that fake crap they show on TV. Two fighters in the ring, only one walks out alive. I'm not going to force you against your will. But if you can't pay, this is your only option to obtain that info on your old boss. Fine, I'm in. Let's settle then. There's only one rule. Weapons and medicines are strictly forbidden during the match. Now, I suggest you go prepare yourself. Come see me when you're ready to begin. I take it you're ready to enter the Coliseum? I'm ready. Yeah, I'm ready. All right, then let's go. I アムロ町地下闘技場トーナメント。ここで優勝者のエキシビションデスマッチを行います。よっ、チャンピオン。青コーナーより挑戦者西島大河の優勝です。25年前、勝った一人で敵対する組織に立ち向かい18人もの極道者をこの世から消し去った伝説のヒットマン裏切りと復讐の脱獄衆西島ハイエガー赤コーナーよりチャンピオンの入場です
この男が牧場に姿を現してから約半年間百戦無敗幾多の戦争をくぐり抜けた不死身の男地下闘技場現チャンピオンイワンイブラヒモビッチ試合特別ルールで行いますこの戦いにドローはありませんどちらかの死をもって勝敗を決める非常のデスマッチ
人増えても問題ない言うてやつはお前かお前かお前ら殺せ殺せ言うてるけどもやなこん中でほんまに人を殺したやつがおるんかこらええか教えといたるわ人を殺すっちゅうはな人を殺すっちゅうはなごっつっ怖いもんなんじゃ15年前のある日から俺は毎日必ず夢を見る18人殺した日の夢や殴ったやつの方の感触骨が砕ける瞬間の音悲鳴死んでいったやつの顔全部が事細かに夢に出る死んだ人間の家族に申し訳ないとかそんなんは当然思うせやけどなせやけどなそんなもんちゃうねえ人を殺したらな殺した人間は恐怖から逃げられへんねえ毎日毎日怖い思いせなあかんねえそれがどんなに苦しいことかお前らにわかるかくだらんこんな勝負は俺は降りる。Alright, ladies and gentlemen, thanks for watching. My name is Raven from the Sky. If you enjoyed the episode, drop a like and subscribe to the channel, see if you grow. Take care, and I'll catch you guys in the next episode. Peace out.